My mate Steve has done a full vlog. <laughs> a full vlog. So, uh, start the day, got the kids to school, gonna go watch that. All right? How you all doing? It's just, it's amazing how quickly time can pass you by. You know, I had that plan to burn up the tree branches and to, um, and to check out Michelle's tire, but I didn't get to cross either of those off and it's 10.49. And I actually still have uh, work that I need to do that really I should do tonight. Um, but maybe I can just hyper-focus tomorrow and try to get through it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, today's to-do list is just nothing is happening. I don't know why I'm doing it. like it's not that obviously because it's a total failure. Really, I think the area in which I failed was assessing how much time I had. I didn't expect so much time to go into going to that soccer game, and um, you know I could have done Michelle's tire, but honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired, and burning up the tree branches. I can't go do that when I have this work to do, and I don't even feel like doing this work. So if I go do the tree branches, then I'm gonna to get to bed late and I'm gonna be tired. I think my best bet right now at 10.50 is to go to bed and get some sleep. Bedtime at 10.50, you lucky bastard. 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. It's not sustainable. Just at 10.50, that's sustainable. Good job. Oh. Uh, just a note. Okay. See if Sam the day is a failure. It's not a failure. It's never a failure. You might feel that way. It's not a failure. Remember, I've just watched this entire damn video, right? Steve did a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Many, many, many small pieces, right? Just remember, small battles, small chunks to the bigger thing. The little battles win the war, all right? You don't just open up a box and bam, the puzzle's done. Small pieces fit together to make the bigger picture. So don't feel down if the day doesn't seem to be going as well as you want it to. Tiny steps, small steps. You know, don't, you can't run, walk, that group. Loads of different sounds mean the same thing. <laughs> Just small steps at a time. Small bites, easy digestible chunks, done. Now, uh, I'm going to go and have a shower um, and uh, change up the my tape again. Uh, my hands are not comfortable today. I have no idea what I've done. Retaped. Can I try and explain the tape thing without going into a huge amount of detail? And it also kind of ties into why I try and say to people, like, just don't stress out. Keep going. Tiny battles. You've got this kind of thing. Stress is brutal. It's, it's a thing that you will go through likely every single day. It's a part of life. But if things get out of hand, it can be a nightmare. So I've had a bucket of medical conditions through my life. But over the last few years, things got significantly worse. <laughs> significantly worse. And on a, a few different occasions, I've been asked to do buckets of little bits and bobs. In the case 
of the hands. Fucked up my hands. Hands got infected. And they weren't too big of a deal. Just a, a simple groove. Your immune system is supposed to fight it off. Just, you know, creams. Uh, don't scratch. Keep it clean. That kind of thing, right? I was putting on like a, a, a cream that would stop me from scratching and picking it or, or catching it and all that. And that's also what the gloves were for. Uh, to, to stop me from being able to kind of do anything to my hands, you know, keep them covered, stop them from scratching and, 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 and catching and, and all that kind of stuff. And there was a downside there. When the heat came about not too long ago, man, it was like a swamp in those things, which then causes the skin to weaken off, which causes you to scratch and itch because you're wearing gloves in the heat and they're moist and just made it worse. <laughs> so went the tape route because that's somewhat less awkward. If you didn't know, it's really easy to make your hands bleed. Like really, 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 really easy. Like you just, you just catch your hand in a funny way. Uh, regardless of whether or not you've got like thin skin, like if you work with your hands a lot or whatever. Really, really easy to make your hands bleed and they bleed a lot. And at one point I kind of, whilst trying to sort out my hand, I managed to gash up my hand and just make it worse. Significantly worse. So much worse I'm wearing tape on, on, on <laughs> all my hands, right? The, your immune system is supposed to, to pick up on this stuff. However, At parts, my hands have recovered. Other parts, it's been made a lot worse. Every single time I'm supposed to treat something, somehow I'm an unlucky sod and I make everything worse. There was a clear sign that my immune system was combating some of my issues and then it just stopped. I did go into the doctors a, a was it probably a couple of months ago, and they said, "Yeah, yeah, just just do this, boost that. If things don't work out, go to the hospital in a month." That was a couple of months ago. I still haven't gone back. I think I really need to go back to the hospital to get this stuff sorted because yet again, I've made things worse. But stress. A few years back, I had heart issues. Temporary blindness, that was fun. Uh, this kind of stuff. And uh, what, what, was, what was one of the other ones? Like, um, I don't remember those, the, the heart problem. Bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of them. Uh, to the point, actually, at one point, I got sent in to go and see a counsellor. This was a, a long time ago. And I forgot to go to the appointment. I just, I just forgot to go. And I I got into a lot of trouble for that. <laughs> a lot of trouble for that. I was told by my doctor that I was basically wasting time, wasting the NHS's time. Because I went in a couple of years ago to see for what was largely the same problems. This is when I was having trouble with my vision and the heart rate and all that kind of stuff. And they wanted to put me on uh, antidepressants and stuff, but I wasn't comfortable with that because I forget things. And one of my doctors that has known me for a bajillion years, since I was a, a, a wee dot, comes in, hears a, a bunch of stuff, and she says to me, yeah, it's no wonder you're the way you are. You know, you are a stress head. You are, in short, this isn't her words, you know, verbatim, a self-abusing stress head. People have never looked, one of my doctors said that they have never known someone to be so self-deprecating. And the other doctor's like, you are just 100% stress head. You run on stress. By self-abusing, you don't eat, you don't sleep, and you are stressed out of your mind. You will 
cut out self-care every step of the way just to make sure that other things work but at what cost and she she says to me a lot of the problems that you're going through now is literally just because you're so stressed stress ties into so so many things said the heart rate stress you're basically having uh, massive panic attacks anxiety attacks she say uh, the vision can also be tied down to stress you are just so stressed you're just shutting down she said the the memory thing that is also a, a sign of um, stress and uh, clinical depression. All right. The skin. Depression. Your immune system is through the floor. And that didn't make the next couple of years any better because not long after, hey, it's COVID. Everyone has to stay in their, in their homes, right? But my family, I, I live in a house with um, immune compromised people. And look, my immune system is supposed to be the good one. <laughs> but through all of these other things, I've made it significantly worse to the point that I might as well just not bother. And the whole family got letters through saying, I can't remember what it was, like something like, you have to stay inside for like four months. You are like high, 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 high risk. You go outside, you dead. That was a miserable fucking time. And it's one of the things that I, 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 try, I tried to say to the doctor. I said, well, how the hell do you de-stress? Like, where do you find the time? <laughs> and I go, I'm scrambling like a madman just to make a few bucks. Like, we are not a rich household by any stretch of the imagination, regardless of what you may think, looking at, looking at what we've got going on. We are not a well-off household. Some bad decisions here and there, I must admit. But, uh, you know, we, we, we ain't well off. And I was like, well, you know, I'm scrambling just to make a few bucks. And during the COVID thing as well, I was stuffed because I've got no ID either. I don't actually exist. I got married in uh, February of 2020. But we didn't have a conventional uh, marriage. I had I had my name changed, but in having my name changed, all of my paperwork had to go away, and the Gavi lost it for two years, <laughs> and so stress just got worse and worse and worse, and health conditions got worse and worse and worse, and memory got worse and worse. Insomnia got worse. I'm an insomniac. That got worse and worse and worse. And just all these other things got worse and worse and worse. Uh, the, the vision got worse. The heart rate got worse. In a roundabout way, in nearly 10 minutes, stress will do you in. And it manifests in so many different ways. And the, the, the trick is... You have to look after yourself. I still don't do it. Doctor still says I'm a stress head. Uh, that that, uh, that I, I need to start looking after myself. At 37 years old though, um, I'm not used to it. But that's partly why I, I say to folks like, hey, yo, you can't. Don't get so stressed. I say that being a bit of a hypocrite because I'm stressed out of my fucking mind all of the time. All of the time. Uh, to the point that I, I run myself into the ground and I'm constantly sick and I'm constantly tired. And for the most part, I'm, you know, I'm smiling, but they say, you're miserable. You know, doctor says, like, never seen someone so, so full of hatred for themselves, <laughs> like, out there. And yet, here I am. <laughs> small steps all the time. Just small steps. Even if it seems like you're not achieving anything right now, you'll get there eventually. There's no need to rush. There's no need to stress out. You don't have to figure out 
all of the answers today. But you, you do have to look after yourself to get to that point. So I think even though I've been avoiding it all this time, and I've hurt myself a few more times since, um, I don't know how though. I'm starting to lose the... In my hand, probably start looking after myself and actually go back to the go back to the hospital and see what they have to see what they have to say. But then I start to feel like a hypochondriac if there's nothing they can do. Oh, I, I guess I'd actually uh, better get to uh, the rest of my daily doings. That went on longer than I thought it would. Just look after yourselves. One day I will too. <laughs> I've got everything done. It's a little uh, taken back, if I had to be honest. <laughs> got stuff done. Went live. Was talking to Holvici. Great conversation. And um, shut down my live stream. Steam Deck came up with a notification. You've been sent a gift on Steam. Now I assumed that this was uh, like a miss notification from like when I got sent Damon X Machina the other day from Zaber on Tuesday. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I went on to, I couldn't, not gonna lie, I couldn't figure out how to get to the to the notification on Steam Deck. So I fired up my, fired up my laptop and Dark Rider, <laughs> <laughs> sent me a copy of uh, Judgment, which is a spin-off game from the Yakuza series that I've wanted to play for a billion years, for like thousands of years. That's like that's quite a difference from a billion t to thousands. Hey, yo, it's the it's the most fucking the bigliest, most awesomest. <laughs> nah, like um, I've wanted to play it for a long time. But I haven't like wanted to just pick it up on the PlayStation because. If it's the only thing I'm going to launch the PlayStation for, chances are the PlayStation doesn't get turned on. And, like, I have the whole Yakuza series on, like, Xbox and um, PC. And, like, PS2 and stuff like that. But I have the games on, a, on another platform. And Dark has, has given me this... He's, he's gifted me this fucking game. And I was just like, oh, mate. <laughs> so, thank you, Dark. It's another person I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to playing it now. Really looking forward to playing it. Look more so because now it's I'm gonna see if I'll run on the Steam Deck. Not right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. But can I rewind back a bit to uh the just the, the earlier stuff, okay? Because with this whole gift from Dark Rider and I got a gift from Xavier the other day and there, I am surrounded by really good people. Even talking to Alvici today on stream, I am surrounded by incredibly good people. But the funny thing is, most of these people have come into my life through this. And in fact, someone else uh, who I'll be seeing tomorrow, maybe, uh, I met through this. But I'll, I'll chat about that in a, in a sec. I don't know why I'm an asshole that attracts incredibly good people. I think they're good people. They're always kind to me. You know they're always supportive of other people. Uh, I, I think they're I think they're generally good folks. This has been great. This has been great fun. Uh, a lot of the people who I consider my closest friends are from doing this. The lowest off tourist board should like start talking to me because people are coming to this town just to like come and hang out. <laughs> but stress will eventually do you in. It will. If time doesn't, stress will. <laughs> and I can't say I know how people feel, right? But, because we all process things differently, right? But I, I can imagine how you feel. I can imagine how people feel because I've been there. If I say I know how you feel, what I'm trying to say is I, I can imagine what you're going through because I've been through something similar. Maybe, possibly, you know, a, don't really know, but like, you know, I know what it's like someone is to just wake up and just 
kind of hate yourself, to look at your bank balance and be just want to cry, you know, to wonder how you're going to break rent that month or where you're going to get your next meal from. I know what it's like to just not feel like you're good enough and and just all, all this other stuff. I know what it's like to have stress just pile on top of you and and make you feel worthless. I've been there. <laughs> In some cases, I am still there. Uh, look, and th th those are just some some examples. It's not like every example, you know. I I know what it's like to feel like you don't matter. I know what it's like to feel like you're never gonna get anywhere. Uh, I know what it's like to feel like you're doing everything wrong. I I kind of I can imagine what people have gone are going through because I've been there. Stress exacerbates everything. I'm not saying don't get stressed. I'm just saying it can make all of these other little things turn into bigger problems. And when up here starts to get bogged down, it can be really hard to get out of it. Really hard to get out of it. So keep moving forward. I say it being someone, I do it every day. I can wake up miserable, but God damn it, just keep powering through. You have to keep going to the next day. You just got to keep, got to keep going. Things might seem like they're getting worse, but you're still alive. And that's the bit that matters. So, cool. Now, I do actually have a plan for the night, and that is to try and get everything done before 10 o'clock. I don't have long. Don't worry, it's not for me. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that didn't go quite how I expected it to. Just wanted to say, you know, look. <laughs> you can't control everything. There are too many variables. You're doing all right. You're doing all right. It's okay to feel low. You don't have to put a positive spin on it. And, you know, chances are we'll get better. The stress will go and, you know, oh, I was going to twig my knee. Christ, I'm old. <laughs> it's falling apart. All right. Um, I'm going to have to call this one done because tomorrow... I say the the uh, the tourism board <laughs> should uh, should really all uh, they should be uh, they should be contacting me because uh, rain is coming down tomorrow maybe in theory well out of his way him and his wife are coming all the way down from the states not just to come here they've they've been hanging out in London they've gone to uh, to France Ugh, France <laughs> but um. He says he's going to be travelling, if all goes to plan, hours to come from London to here. And London's in, like, London's in chaos right now. Uh, Lowestoft is the most easterly point in the uh, in the UK. We're currently at war, I think, with Southwold over that title. They're not having it. <laughs> They've got a cool painting of George Orwell. Like, we don't have that, so... Just give us the fact that we are poking the most out east way <laughs> on that cancerous lumpy bit on the side of the UK. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just give us that. Like, you can't go any further east without maybe going to France <laughs> or drowning yourself. So he's coming well out of his way to 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 come down here, and we're probably just gonna uh, me, the wife, uh, him, and his wife, probably just gonna go out and have a a meal at like one of the local cafes or something. Sadly, we're not going to have a huge amount of time. So 
I don't, I don't, I don't really know what's going to happen. Not going to lie, pretty nervous, <clears throat> but Rain's another uh, good geezer that I've met through this kind of groove. Met through live streaming Fantasy Star Universe, like, back in 20... Might have been, what, maybe eight years ago? I don't know. Five years ago, eight years ago, something like that. Long time ago, actually, long time ago. But, yeah, fucking hell. So if I had, I mean, we've had, um... <laughs> we've look. We've had plenty of people get on planes to 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 and eventually find their way down here, and they'd have no other reason to come here other than the fact that me and the wife hang out here. So <laughs> cool. I'm um, fucking. I'm psyched. Nervous, but psyched. Radiate confidence like a supernova. Haven't actually got any. So yeah. Uh, hope you guys are good. Okay. I say not quite what I had in mind. But you know, I just I just saw Steve getting he's getting stressed out about stuff and You're doing okay dude, you're doing fine. Just keep going. You know, I've I've known people who were fucking millionaires and they had to make bad like they had life happen to them and they ended up going from like lots of money, good cars all that kind of stuff, you know, lavish lifestyle to basically where I am now. And that's okay, because they're happy. <laughs> we will judge you on the quality of your character more than anything else. That's not just to Steve, that's to, to, um, that's to everyone. It's not about, uh, it's not realistically about the, the, the things that you have, you know. So, yeah. Everyone measures things differently. Just chill out. Be fine. So, hope goes well. See you all with a bit of luck in the next one. Man, what are we going to eat? Where are we going to go? <laughs> I hope the place we've got in mind is open. Never been there before. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> See? Arsehole surrounded by good people. <laughs>